Good morning and happy Vlogmas Day 14. You guys, I cannot believe it's been 14 days of me consistently uploading. Um, I'm super impressed with myself and it's been doable. Um, I just, I don't like that I have to spend like about an hour or two editing and uploading in the, the same day, but my kids have been adapting, <laughs> adapting to it and kind of, it's around like their nap time, so I'm not losing out on too much time with my kids. Um, but sometimes it does my computer is like old like 2015 old and I have a hard time uploading my videos sometimes like my storage will be full I literally have to delete everything otherwise it will not it won't upload hello oh no I didn't see your text yet and last night I went to go buy I'm talking to your too. I went to go buy stuff for us to make hot chocolate but I got this stuff to make hot chocolate. Let me show you guys. So last night I ran out to Target, me and Onyx, while the kids are sleeping and we picked up the stuff to make some hot chocolate. I saw this recipe on Pinterest that showed you how to make hot chocolate in a crock pot. And so I wanted to try it. Um, all I needed was semi-sweet chocolate chips, marshmallows, vanilla extract, condensed milk, regular milk, and uh, like toppings I think and let me show you these toppings. I've been into these like flavored whipped creams so I had to try this I got peppermint whipped cream oh and I also need heavy whipping cream and then um, gingerbread whipped cream another applesauce you already had two did I pick something else no you don't want no more after that how why you get that Oh, because I want to make hot chocolate. Yeah, I think that's yours. Excuse me, Ayla. Is this mine? Okay, okay one second. I'm not going to make this. No, I'm not making that right now. Okay. That's for later. Why is that for later? Okay, Diane. What? Are you trying to see? Yeah. So I'm seasoning my eggs. I use pepper, garlic, salt. And I'm using some red chili flakes. And I usually add, oops, Daya, you okay? I usually add some cheese. You gotta say that you're trying to see? Okay, one second, Mama. You're trying to see or what? What do you want? Okay, I need to pour it in. Excuse me, Daya. Wait, I need to go there. Alright, really quickly, I just want to update you guys on how my week of just being more mindful of what I'm eating has been going. In my previous video, I talked to you guys about how I was trying a diet, but really, it's more of a mindset. I have had not the best... You want eggs? Now, if I would have made you eggs, you wouldn't have wanted anything. So I made three eggs, but of course my daughter wants some. If I, I made them eggs yesterday. Waffles, eggs, hash brown, and what does she eat? What does she eat, Daya? Strawberries. Strawberries. <laughs> um, I have, now I have like two eggs and some queso fresco and a yogurt for my breakfast and I have my water. Um, like I was saying, I'm not dieting, you guys. I am working on a mindset because I have a weak mindset and I'm, I suck at discipline. So going into the new year, I really want to be disciplined with my health. And what I put in my body, but more than like, like I don't care to lose weight, even though that's a plus. I care to be mentally strong because I have a hard time staying focused on 
what it is that I would like to do. And so I'm going to just kind of share bits and pieces of that experience with you. I suck at being um, consistent with a routine of anything, so I'm working on it. Um, all week I have not drank in anything other than peppermint tea and water. And just last night I bought a kombucha. So I bought two of those, so I might alternate kombucha tea with um, peppermint tea. And so I've just, I'm have just i just trying to see what works for my body and how I can make healthier eating habits. Look at how many eggs she ate. What did you ask for them for? Okay, really quickly, I want to just go ahead and give you guys an update. Um, so first of all, if you are new to my channel, um, hi, my name is Monica. I have three children, and I'm married to my high school sweetheart. We've been together for 10 years um, and married for one. I have a three-year-old, a one-year-old, and a newborn. And I wanted to just talk about my daughter's experience right now, currently potty training. So my son is officially potty trained. He's been potty trained since I think before he turned uh, before he turned three, a few months before he turned three. And my daughter, she's one years old, so she'll will, she'll be two in April. And last week, she um, last week was the first time. <laughs> last year, oh last year, last week was the first time she's used the restroom on her own. She actually took her diaper off, and I just I was feeding my um, youngest, and so I was like, I told my oldest son to go take her to use the restroom, and he took her to the bathroom where her little toilet is. And she actually went number two. And so I was like, oh no, like I'm not ready for this. Originally when I was pregnant with my third, I told myself I wanted to potty train her around this time because I knew going into the new year, it would just be nice to have to only buy one pack of diapers. But I wasn't, when I, when it came to reality of having a newborn and two toddlers, I just didn't think I actually had the energy to really start potty training her. Because like I like for example, if I'm nursing and she has to use the restroom and I can't take her, so that's something I'm like we're gonna have a bunch of accidents. So that was the first time she kind of initiated like, okay, take this diaper off. I want to go to the restroom or I want my underwear. So from there, I spent the whole day that whole day giving her underwear and she did really good. She had probably like three or four successful uses of the restroom and then she did have some accidents. But then um, I think the next day we had like a lot of errands to run, so we were not home. But now, just starting yesterday, which was the 13th, um, she... No, actually the 12th, the night of the 12th, she um, asked to go to the restroom. So she's telling me pee-pee, and I'm not understanding what she's saying right away. So she's actually going in her diaper before I can take her to the restroom. And so she's basically giving me signs that she's ready and she's done with the diapers. So I just need to do my best to be more, paying more attention to her so that I know what she's saying and when she has to use the restroom. If you saw the, um, the Christmas basket vlog, you saw three ornaments that I put in their basket so that they can color. And so we colored those yesterday. Yeah. I let them put um, one of them on the big Christmas tree and I let them put their other two on their Christmas tree. Okay, so this is the ornament I did with them. Yes, Ayla, hold on, mommy. This is jetted. No, this is Ayla's little stocking that she colored. This is Jedediah's candy canes that he colored. Oops, 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 sorry, baby. So, their little three wise men are actually on here, too. That's where I did, decided to put it. So, here is some more of their painting crafts. And then you can see their little three wise men. And their angel. Their angel's not on their tree though. All right, Jedi wants their Christmas lights on. He's in the room. He's in the room. Whoa. He's in the room. He's in the room. He's in the room. Say it, Ayla. He's in the room. I've had a, I don't know if you guys could tell, but I've been having a hard time with my brightness on my vlogs because I keep messing with the setting. And so sometimes it's super dark, sometimes it's super light, and it's kind of frustrating me because I don't know the standard setting it's supposed to be at. Okay, the days of the week. 
You got a review after me. Monday. Monday. Tuesday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Thursday. Friday. Friday. Saturday. Saturday. Sunday. Sunday. All right. Do the months with me, okay? January. January. February. February. March. March. April. April. May. May. June. June. July. July. August. September. Se August. August. September. September. October. October. November. November. December. December. Good job. This is what my days have been looking like, you guys. This morning and yesterday have probably been some of the toughest days just because I feel like all my kids are needing me at the same time. And it's three versus one at this point, and it's just hard to cater to everyone's needs. For example, Jedediah wants me to read with him right now. Ayla wants me to hold her. Onyx is probably hungry. Honey mouse. Pluto. Pluto. I'll help, okay? Mommy. Help me pick it up. Yeah. All of I us can it. do it. Help, Ayla. We gotta pour it in. You need all of it, okay? Yeah. I do it. Two. This will make four. Two, four. So, help. Oh, I do have that help. one more. Daya, help. Okay. You got it? Four. Yeah, but I do it. I do it. Okay. Boop. Boop. Yeah, yeah, I do it all, all my by myself. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, look, I can help you. Good job. He put it on warm. You gotta leave it on low for two hours, okay? It does. Let's leave it on low for two hours. So let's set a timer for two hours. Don't touch it. I'll be hot. Yeah! Okay. Friend Melon! Bye, you buddy! Go! Oh. It's looking real good. Is it good? Yeah. Like them? I'm okay. <laughs> you want them? <laughs> You're so cute. Oh, you want them? You want some? Yeah, please, Missy. It tastes good. It's 12.30 now. The hot chocolate is done. My son loved it. I tasted it and it tastes really good. And I will go ahead and insert the recipe I followed here. And I'll also link it in the description in case anyone wants to try it. The reason I chose to do it in the crock pot is because my hands are full most of the time and if i do it on the stove you have to watch it really carefully so that the chocolate doesn't burn and so i didn't want that to happen so which is why i went chose to just do the crock pot so <clears throat> if you choose to try out the recipe let me know how you like it but i think it came out really good and just for reference the chocolate i used was the ghirardelli semi-sweet chocolate chips